So in this question, we are given this equation and we want to find various properties of this wave. So in part A, we want to understand what is the transfer speed for a point on a certain, at a certain distance and at a certain time. So in other words, we want to find what u is at x equals 6 centimeter and t equals 0 0.250 second. So we want to first find out what u is. u equals, uh, u is the transfer speed, which is the derivative of y with respect to t. Um, and when we find the derivative of y with respect to t, we can take the derivative of this equation. It's negative 4 pi times 15. And let's double check. Everything is in terms of centimeter times cosine pi x over 8 minus 4 pi t. And then when t is 0 0.25, uh, this is just, and when x is equal to 6, this equation becomes times 15 times cosine. 6 over 8 is 4 over 3 pi minus pi. All right, so um, now we can put in the number. It's equal to negative 70 pi times cosine negative 1 over pi, that is uh, 1 over square root 2. So this is equal to negative 133. And we still remember the unit as centimeter per second. So it's roughly 1.3 meter per second. And it's negative, meaning it is going in the negative y direction. Then we have part B. Part B asks us uh, what is maximum transfer speed of any points on this on this uh, string. So u, we have this equation over here. It's negative 60 pi cosine pi x over 8 minus uh, 4 pi t. So this achieves maximum value when negative cosine something is just 1. So this achieves max value is pi. All right, so 60 pi. And we can also put this uh, into the decimal point. In decimal number, it is 188 centimeter per second. Then we have part C. Part C asks us what is the magnitude of the transverse acceleration for the point at for this point so in order to find the acceleration we want to now again take the derivative of the speed of the velocity so acceleration at 6 0 0.25 is du dt and we already know what u is and we want to take another derivative so now it becomes negative 4 pi times 60 pi and actually positive because the derivative of cosine is negative sign so sine pi x over 8 minus 4 pi t so oh and there is another negative here so yes this is still negative sign All right, so this is acceleration. So when x equals 6 and when t equals 0 0.25, this is negative 200, 240 pi squared sine. Again, it's negative pi over 4. And negative 240 pi squared over square root 2 is roughly uh, 23.7 meter per second square. So we actually get the so number we get is 2370. It's like 2370 centimeter per second square, but I'm putting everything meters here, so it's 23.7 meter per second square. Finally, the maximum speed. So A max is again when cosine equal, uh, here we have a sign, when negative sine equals 1. So it's just equal to 240 pi square, and 240 pi square is roughly. 
6.7 meter per second square. Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong line over here. This is actually 16. 16 16.7 meter per second square.